The wall of questions is crumbling. What does this mean for the foundation of understanding and curiosity? It means I need a better adhesive. Since I came across some topology yesterday and tonight I'm interviewing a topologist, I figured it's time to crack open this book. Introduction to Topology. After studying the cover, I've come to the conclusion that topology is the study of donuts. Maps into the punctured plane, topological spaces, continuous functions, higher homotomy, homotopy, hippopotamus, the n dimensional Euclidean space r to the n consisting of all n tuples x equals x1 to xn of real numbers becomes a metric space when endowed with a metric dxy equals squiggly thing. This is the introduction? Today I learned that in mathematics the word introduction does not mean what I think it means. But I can still have some donuts. Let's go to the usual starting point, Wikipedia. In mathematics, topology is the study of a collection of open sets making a given set a topological space. That's not helping. It is an area of mathematics concerned with the properties of space that are preserved under continuous deformations, such as stretching and bending, but not tearing or gluing. I could stretch it and squish it, but I, but I, but I can't, like, do this. I guess. Mm, topology developed as a field of study out of geometry and set theory. Topology began with the investigation of certain questions in geometry by Leonard Euler. I've been mispronouncing his name my entire life. I used to say Euler. It is not Euler, it is Euler. His 1736 paper on the seven bridges of Königsberg is regarded as one of the first academic treatises in modern topology. I remember this problem from a site called Think Like a Git. And he begins with the seven bridges of Königsberg. So the question is, can somebody walk through the city of Königsberg and cross every bridge once and only once? And Leonard Euler proved that it is not possible. Some authorities regard this analysis as the foundational idea signaling the birth of topology. And then there's the Euler characteristic, which is the number of vertices or corners of a shape minus the edges plus the faces. So there's a bunch of examples of this on Wikipedia, like cubes. A cube has an Euler characteristic of two, and so do all these other shapes. A line has an Euler characteristic of one. A sphere has an Euler characteristic of two. A torus has an Euler characteristic of zero. In topology, a ring torus is homeomorphic to the Cartesian product of two circles. Don't know what that means. What does homeomorphic mean? Homeomorphisms are mappings that preserve all the topological properties of a given space. And on the side here we have the very famous topology joke that a uh, donut is the same thing as a coffee mug. I'm thinking this might be my first question for tonight's interview with Henry Sagerman. Can you tell the difference between this and this? A topological space is a geometric object and the homeomorphism is a continuous stretching and bending of the object into a new shape. Thus, a square and a circle are homeomorphic, but a sphere and a torus are not. Interesting. So topology isn't really about donuts. It's more about silly putty, stretching and squishing stuff. Then there's all this stuff about manifolds, and I don't understand any of it. Something about Euclidean space. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to understand topology in the next five minutes. I have to get to work soon. So I'm going to eat some donuts and drink some coffee, and maybe I'll learn something more about it tonight when I interview Henry Sagerman, my very first interview with a mathematician. I'm so excited. Hmm, I also still need to solve that Bromian hairpin puzzle, so I guess I better get started on that. I'll see you tonight.